Well, it was an interesting Sunday evening to wrap up week eight in the Canadian Football League. Ended up being all about the quarterbacks here in Edmonton as the Ticats pick up a 44 28 win over the Elks. We'll get to the Edmonton quarterback situation in just a second. I have a hard time believing we're sitting here after watching Bo Levi Mitchell do something he had not yet done in his career. Well, you mentioned off the top of the show that this is a Hall of Fame quarterback, and it is in Bo Levi Mitchell. He was averaging over 300 yards coming into this game tonight, got the first win of the season, leading Hamilton to that win over Toronto last week, and he went to work. It was a, it was a brilliant game plan by Scott Milenovic. Mitchell threw was 17 of 25 for 316 yards passing. But what you mentioned in that accomplishment, the five touchdown throws, two to Tim White, hit that one and then won the final one later in the game. Akuna Vano got one on a big blitz pickup. That was to Smith. So five touchdowns. He'd never done that in his career. Had four a few times, but that's a first. And it was a well-run game plan. Started with an interception. Then just settled in nicely. First time in his career he actually chatted with Tom Gazzola as well. Bo, you're cracking jokes with Tim White while he's doing interviews there. Obviously a, a big win for you guys. First time five TDs for yourself in a game. Hard to believe, isn't it? Hard to believe after that start. I Man, I told uh, the defense was giving me, giving me crap. They were like, you're like an old, like, 68, like a uh, Stingray Corvette. Like, you take a little bit to go get going, but once you do, like, you ride good. So, pause. Boss. But uh, no, man, it was good. It's good to see. I think, you know, it was a slow start for the offense, but defense special teams were killing it the whole game. And I think we just kind of rode that, that their coattails there. And, uh, you know, we got to pick it up at offense in the beginning, but it was good to see us finish like that. Is it this field? Is it this team? Or is it just old Bo that we're seeing I now? I played here a lot, man. I don't know. I do like this stadium. Uh, I know the fans will get back here because uh, it's a hell of a city. And, uh, you know, they're going to get back to their winning ways, man, just like they always will. You guys have back to back wins. What's that doing for your group right now? I mean, confidence, I think it's, it's given us the, uh, the ability to go out and play free, right? Not thinking about a win, but thinking about going out and winning the play, winning that quarter, winning the drive, whatever it might be. Uh, but, you know, we've got a short week this week uh, against an amazing football team uh, that's playing really well. So we got to go out and do everything we can to get a win. Bo, well, congrats. Thanks for the time, man. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. There you go. That is win number 16 for Bo Levi Mitchell against Edmonton. He has not beaten anybody in the league more than Edmonton. On the other side, we said it was all about quarterbacks. McLeod Bethel Thompson got the starts. Started okay, six for six, and then things kind of just fell off. We thought maybe they go to Trey Ford to start the second half. They didn't, and eventually they go to Trey in the uh, fourth quarter. Well, McLeod Bethel Thompson in the second quarter went two of nine and was struggling. It looked like a no-brainer that Jarius Jackson would go with Trey Ford in the second half. He decided not to, and the Elks had minus five yards of offense in the third quarter. You know, not all because of McLeod Bethel Thompson, but because Bo Levi Mitchell was putting together long drives, but they put him in in the fourth quarter, and, you know, in sports and in football, we call it highlight packs. But with Trey Ford, it feels like we should be calling it his greatest hits because he just, in, in basically a half a quarter, down by a ton, he goes to work scrambling, escaping, like we saw last year, getting first downs with his legs. He had 19 yards rushing on three carries. Three touchdown passes at halftime when it looked like it was a no-brainer he'd go in. It was a 28-8 or 21-8 deficit for the Elks. 13 points down. And in half a quarter, Trey Ford put together three touchdown drives. It could have been a different game. That's, you know, that's the decision they made. They're going to live with it. Another loss. They're 0 7. But Trey Ford, it, it's it's got to be him in Saskatchewan next week. I, I just don't see there's any way it can be anybody else. It would be a very strange decision if he doesn't start next Saturday in Regina. Can't do it. Played very well when he got an opportunity in the fourth quarter today. That is where Edmonton heads next. They get the Riders in a very good defense. It'll be a stiff test for the entire team. They've now started 0-7 after starting 0-9 last year. For the Ticats, who've won two in a row, they'll head home to take on the Montreal Alouettes.